Hello beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to Unhow channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And you already know, if you have any questions, make sure to drop one below in a comment. I would be happy to make a video for you too. Same as the over 100 videos I made now in Shopify customization. They were mostly requests from subscribers, some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. Even though they are not subscribers, I still make the video for them. I don't know how they keep tracking on how well I post, if I posted the video or not, but anyway, <laughs> I still make the video for them and it's fine with that. Just a like button, as I said. And actually, if you are interested in customization, Shopify customization, and you want to be an expert, subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. I don't have anything to sell and never will. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't sell any codes and never will. All the content I do create, I do post it completely free on the channel. I don't have any membership or anything like that. You just have to skip around some ads. But I think that's the most the case for most of the videos on YouTube, right? If not, not all of them, right? So, no worries. Even if you don't want to subscribe, that's fine. But if this video helped you out, press the like button. Be generous, come on. Anyway, in this video, I will show you how to resize the page title on your Shopify store and yes, you guessed right, this is a request again and it was requested multiple times. I do reply to the people that ask it this because it's fairly easy. I do provide like code, two lines of code. I did provide them with the code to do that, but the same question keeps repeating. So instead of replying to each person, I can just make a video and anyone who has the same question again in the future, they can easily find the video and do the trick they're trying to do, which is resizing the page title. So without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. Obviously, I have here down team 15 version, which is the last one as of now. So in demonstration, I mean the video you're watching right now, I will do demonstration on down team. But if I scroll down here, as you can see, I have every other uh, most used free teams in here, which is Taste, Sense, Refresh, Spotlight and Trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try it behind the scenes on each one of these. So even if you're not using down, which is the one I'm doing demonstration on, it should, it should work for you just fine. If you're using one of these, it should work for you just fine. Even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I would be happy to help you out. But I think it will work for you just fine. I'm sure of that. I just have to say this at the beginning. So I will give you a peace of mind so you would know I would not waste your time if you saw me only doing this for down. So you would know that this trick will work for you even if you're using one of these. And again, for the second time, without any more talking, let's just jump to it and show you how to resize the page title on your Shopify store. And this is the Shopify store I do all the demonstration on, including this moving, as you can see, moving scrolling, uh, sorry, moving announcement bar, as you can see, and it has a, a link on it. it. For example, if I click on it, it will take me to the future product. And you can set this uh, announcement bar link to any section on your Shopify store and even pages. And if you are wondering how can you, can you do that, I already posted the video. Come on, man. Sc subscribe. <laughs> I'm just joking. Scroll down the description, I mean the channel, and you will see uh, the video. But for now, let's just go talk and show you again for the third time how to resize this. Let's just say this. By the way, collection title is different from page title. This is page title. But collection title is different. It has completely different class name. So this trick will not work for it. If you're interested in how to resize collection title, I think I already made that video. If not, if you didn't find it on my channel, I can't remember each video I made. I apologize, too many. So even if you didn't find it on my channel, just drop me a comment. I will help you to do that, then make a video for the rest of the people. So I will, in this video, I will show you how to resize this one right here. Make it bigger, smaller, whatever the case is. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So obviously get back to Shopify dashboard. The first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize, then click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. So next thing is use the search bar at the top left corner and in here we need to find the specific file in, in, in here. Instead of looking at the folders, uh, use the search bar and type in Again, I have to mention this on each one of my videos. It will be either base.css or team.css or style.css or rarely in some custom made teams is going to be custom.css. But mostly it's base.css or team.css or style.css. In my case, it's base. So I'm going to type in base. Here we go. 
base.css. Make sure it ends with .css. So now, after you find it, scroll all the way down. Let me drag this because it's a huge file. So in here, uh, at the bottom of the file, we need to create a new line so we can paste in a code in here. And so in order to do that, simply click front of the last thing on the line, on the code, and hit enter on your keyboard. Here we go. We are in a completely new line because as I said, we're going to paste in an, a code here. And to get that code, simply scroll down the description box and you will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this page right here. We're going to see very short code that will do the trick, right? So select the whole thing in here. Make sure to select the closing bracket as well. Right click copy, get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file. If you can see here, it says uh, font size 20, as you can see. So I think you already know what this is, right? So if you want it bigger, increase the number. You want it smaller, decrease the number. That's very simple. I'm going to keep it for 20 for now. So let's just click on save button and let's just wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, we're good to go. Let's just get back and reload the page and see. Whoa, it becomes much smaller, I guess, right now. See? So I, I might have to increase the number. But I'll let you do that by yourself. And in this video, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.